So, okay, random video. Oh, hi, Buzz not, hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. Take hi. Care. Was not going to film this, but then I had once again the bright idea of filming our little hiking trip from Northfield to here. So, hi, you'll see a lot more. And she's in the video again. I don't know why. I have no makeup on. You invited me. I, don't know. I said let's go for a hike. I didn't tell you to be in the video. So hi. She hijacked the video now. But you're really smart when it comes to dressing up for a hike. I know. <laughs> that was the most bitchiest answer I ever heard. Hi. Note up converse. Mm. Oh, are you doing as a whole? Yeah. It's like a how to dress appropriately for a hike. Yep. This. Definitely you should dress like that. Should never, and I'm saying like this specifically, never dress like me. Are you seeing this? Like a t-shirt, leggings? No. What? Nope. You should never dress like this. You should wear the skirt. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's not a bad idea at all. It's no, not a. I'm a genius walking through grass in the sky. Such a genius. Like, oh, you missed it. So it is way too windy to say anything and I might have to delay the audio. Oh my god, look at how I look on camera. <laughs> That's the best thing I ever seen in a while. It is like, but apparently it looks like sewage water. Beautiful. Beautiful. Ah, too late. <laughs> way too late. This is just becoming quality entertainment. Oh, I don't like the sound coming from that branch. You can try this one though. This seems so much higher. <laughs> there you go. Don't touch your nose. Oh my god, my arm's on the nose. Well, I believe she's going to become viral on YouTube with that. Sports is my passion. <laughs> we love sports, don't we? So I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to vlog today, as I... My beautiful face. No. <laughs> <laughs> of course I'm joking, but like... I feel hurt and rejected and... You've been in a loving relationship for three years. <laughs> what kind of rejected are we talking about? I'm emotionally hurt. No, you're not. You're totally fine, Georgia. <laughs> This actor, I swear. But yeah, I have no idea why I thought this was a good idea to film because the only thing I have on my skin at the moment is literally sunscreen. <laughs> Not even moisturizer. That's good though. Wear sunscreen, people. Don't die. Please wear Climate sunscreen. Change is real. It is real. <laughs> Imagine I get demonetized for talking debatable subjects. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like climate change is politics and I'm like no it's just everyone is dying we should probably stop that. Oh yeah. By the Joanna, way, you strike for climate. <laughs> <laughs> when is the next one? Um, it's normally like the 15th of ish yeah, of each month but there are monthly no weekly strikes in various European countries. There you go. Just learn about your own climate strike and join that. If you don't want to die underneath the mad sun because we're destroying the climate thank it's you hot right now. well okay let's talk about climate now that we can talk about it well just learn about things that you can do on your own which is like the smallest help for example like even if you're not vegan or if you're not zero waste you can try implementing vegan meals into your diet meat free mondays meat free mondays there you go i try to be a weekday vegetarian which is no help but I'm also that cutting works. down that works. dairy. That substantially reduces your meat. It does. So I'm cutting down dairy too. So literally the only thing that I eat that is not vegan is eggs most of the time. Yeah, I'm about to cut out like dairy butter. So It is so much easier to cut down dairy if you live in a European country. Because as you guys know, I am from Turkey. And it is almost impossible to cut down dairy because there are no substitutes in the country. But here... Oh my god. But, but here you have stuff like vegan cheese, mm -hmm. vegan milk, expensive though. vegan yogurt. They're not that expensive to be That's fair. A, they're always a lot more expensive. Like some cartons are like two pounds for a smaller thing than a like a um, cow's milk that you can get for like ATP. So it's like also like loose produce is always more expensive than packaged produce. So being environmentally friendly is expensive. 
to be fair, if you're making your own vegan milk, that is so much cheaper. Yeah, that's and true. You can actually make that because, for example, things like oat milk and almond milk are very easy to make by yourself. I know almond mm. milk is not that great for the environment, but we're talking about being vegan. <laughs> Yeah, I think so, oat, oat milk's better, I think. Oat milk is so much better for the environmental footprint. Yeah. Because the almond is not a sustainable produce. I'm not 100% against like cow's milk or, because I drink it, but like, <laughs> or anything. I'm not 100% against dairy produce yeah. because it's not terrible if it's like organically and ethically sourced and not like from a, like a sort of place where cows are kept in like slaughterhouses and stuff. Exactly. No, dairy is not that bad, especially in oh, UK. Spider! Now, do you realize I literally get like ants and spiders everywhere here? But like, okay, back to the topic. But for example, like dairy here in UK is not that bad because most of the dairy is already produced in the country and most of them are ethically fair, as I know. It's, yeah, it's, a lot of it's local produce, but, yeah. the, uh, but I don't know enough about the industry, but it's not all very good. Yeah, I don't. I have yeah. no research about this. This is like all stuff that I kind of know, and I don't know from where I know. Yeah, we, we are doing a science. We are doing we a science. Things. Yeah, so I might be wrong, and if I'm wrong, please don't get mad. But you can comment down below, which you know is more right. Yes, but what I'm talking about is like countries like Turkey, which are like almost third world countries at this point. Um, all everything that we produce, we don't get. So everything that we produce goes to other countries, which is higher in footprint, which also requires us for us to get other stuff from other countries. For example, even though we are so big on farming and animal farming, uh, we are not getting any of the stuff into the country itself, which is a big problem when it comes to the first of all the economy. Oh my! God. Okay, back to deep topics. <laughs> this is literally the weirdest walk that I ever made. Themes? I don't know how. Yeah, we don't have any themes. It's literally just a hike and talk about climate change, okay, which I will. Spiders on us. Yeah, spiders on us. <laughs> just spider check. But for like for countries like Turkey, it's first of all really hard to be vegan, really hard to be zero waste because the country itself doesn't even know how to recycle at first and stuff mm. like that. Actually, that's interesting. Even in the UK, recycling is so like there's such a disparity in what can be recycled. So like yeah. at home, we have like food waste bags, but um. Yeah, for example, oh, we don't uni, have that. We don't in certain residences. So like East Slope has um, food recycling. I don't, do they? I don't know if actually students do it because I, I don't know think like, people so. I know who live in East Slope, like they don't. I mean, I get way but, too many emails from the campus residence yeah. thing that says like people throw food into the recycling so that the recycling can't be recycled. Yeah, it's bad. But even like our recycling here is terrible. So a few years ago, like um, the local council signed a contract with Veolia. I think I've said that right. And they don't recycle anything. They like oh, they recycle no. like plastic bottles and like glasses and metals and things. But a lot of like plastic cartons in supermarkets, things like that. Um, they, every student throws them in the bin. I did up until very recently. Same, honestly. And thought they were being recycled and they're not. And it's really bad. Um, so yeah, Brighton is like green constituency, but our recycling is Isn't the minister terrible. here Green Party? Yeah, it's not the MP, it's the local council. And I think the local council was Labour run when the oh, recycling contract was established. But um, I not a hundred percent sure but no I, think it is. I know nothing about Brighton history to be fair mm -hmm. so I can't really say anything about like the government mm -hmm. and everything else but what I'm talking about when it comes to turkey recycling is I learned proper recycling here because in the country they don't teach you how to recycle for example like I didn't know I have to which is like really dumb to not think about this but I didn't know I had to like wash out glass jars in order to recycle yeah, them that's true yeah which mm -hmm. like which should be thought and as i realized in turkey itself we throw every garbage into the same bin so even if you recycle the government won't care for it even though like we commercial as recycling and we do have a few facilities in istanbul itself but they don't care about it like we literally be more like germany with bottle deposit schemes so like louder, in supermarkets sir. huh louder the camera oh here. damn i'm too quiet ah okay um it's like Germany has like bottle deposit schemes so you pay like an extra maybe like 10 20p on your plastic bottle when you buy it from the supermarket oh. and then you return it to the shop and they have like little machines where you put it through the thing and we do that for glass in Turkey it's so yeah we should have it here I don't know why we don't I no think but like why would it. you do it for glass glass is recyclable 
Oh, true. Oh no, this will recycle plastic as well. And like, um, oh. you take it into the supermarket, and to by returning it, you get that extra ten twenty p back. Yeah, so I, but like I feel like incentive. nobody would really bother with it. It's Germany's very popular. You actually get people like going through bins looking for like plastic bottles they can recycle to get like money off of it. Oh, that makes sense. It's really good. And it's so it successful. Is. It does and, sound like, really good. It doesn't take that many resources to implement. You just need a machine that can process them in supermarkets. There you go. It could just be one chain of supermarkets. Guys, listen to your youth. Yeah. This is like the problem that I'm seeing with every country. You don't listen to your youth. And when you don't listen to your youth, there becomes uprisings, there becomes shit going down in the history because you're repeating yourself again and again and again. For example, we've been talking about rainforests for centuries right now. Yeah. Centuries. And we're still doing nothing about it. We did something about it. Uh, and they did go down around 2012, 2013. However, they're rising again because nobody is giving a fuck. Yeah, it fluctuates a lot with deforestation. It's bad. Yeah. And it also depends what country you look at as well. So like, I don't know, all I know about rainforests is like the Amazon rainforest and the... the was oh. it the Olympics that came to... No, what no I'm talking, talking no, about Brazil, the Amazon. Yeah, Brazil deforested a lot for the Olympics or something like yeah. that. Yeah. The, basically, and what Brazilian uh, government is saying at the moment, not all of the government, but some parts of the government is saying that they don't own anything to other countries but the problem with that is when you do something for your own country it affects the whole world so i don't know where this talk is going mass reforestation and rewilding of the uk is needed as well so like we're sitting yeah. in a lot of pretty fields right now but we need a lot more of them we the need a lot more of them you to need be fair. like mass like um rewilding to um draw down the carbon in the atmosphere yeah and if you rewilded like and there's a petition going on on the government website at the moment. Like We're so lucky to be in a university in which uh, we are like literally in the middle of a national park. Mm -hmm. but we, even our uni could do better. So we do lots yeah. of stuff like um, the, there's like an extra levy on um, single use plastic cups and things if yeah. you buy a drink in a cafe here. But um, even that, like we still offer the plastic cups. If we completely banned them and just didn't stock them, people would all bring their own flasks. It would all yeah, be that is true. Stuff like that. The, on, like, the only problem with that is then the university is gaining less because that means they yeah. won't be starving to students who didn't bring their own flasks. That's fine though. I think you have to have extreme <laughs> yeah. measures to... No, you should. I'm, yeah. I'm just saying this from the perspective of the university. I'm playing the devil's yeah. advocate here. Profit orientation. Yeah, yeah. basically, because the, this university is very profit oriented in which they try to show themselves as they're not. Ooh, I can't say anything about that. She works for the school. I will make another video about this for sure, because I think people assume a lot of things when they are entering Sussex in which they're all advertised towards them but it's they're not all, all universities in the uk i think since yeah. the large extortionate tuition fees came in um universities have been marketized and yeah, it's David. about attracting students and this is every university across the uk it's, every every single it's a one of them systemic issue and it's there is more of an emphasis on profitable ventures in universities yeah. and maintaining a good image than like welfare and like academic academia and attainment and research like development but that's not what i'm saying isn't specific to sussex yeah. i'm saying that about other universities it's the very yeah. only thing i can say about that is sussex still is a little better because we are in brighton so they can't really do anything that is bad for the environment we're on a very their green own. campus yeah i think one of the greenest in the uk and even like the east slope development is really good because like there all that's the chalk right. they're excavating is going towards like developing a new like grassland and oh yeah actually we did see yeah. that just now stuff like that and like that that whole new development system as much as i don't agree with the price of it um oh yeah like, do you want yeah, to hear about the like price a... of the new east slope <laughs> i i think like they should lower the prices of northfield and swanborough yeah it's very expensive there's literally no, there's not a price range anymore but um they're literally the same price it's, it's not a range yeah. it's the same price. i mean my student loan covers it so it's fine <laughs> i don't have a loan what am i supposed to do yeah like for people who don't have loans it can be quite difficult and i yeah. think that's that's important to remember when you come to uni is you, need you to really look at, should like i did, even like private renting in brighton like it's a brighton issue not a sussex uni specific issue it's like exactly renting in do brighton do you say sussex uni or university of sussex Sussex Uni. I say University of Sussex. It is University of Sussex. Yeah, but yeah. Sussex, we do I say have Sussex merch. Uni because that's all the socials. Yeah, but we yeah. do have merch that says Sussex Uni mm -hmm. also. Yeah. Well, I think this ends the whole talk of us on That went really ecology. off climate change. It did. It did. This was like more like a talk. Ramble. 
I'm in ramble. a political mood after yesterday with the strike. Honestly, same, especially now that I'm going back to Turkey and the elections are happening again. <laughs> can you vote? Yeah, I can this time. Yay! This time I can. Last time I couldn't vote because I was out of country and I didn't know what I should do to vote. However, now that I learned, I think if I like come here to UK next year too, I will do mm -hmm. the same thing. In which can you postal vote to Turkey? I think that's the case. Apparently, yeah. you can go to the Turkish embassy in London mm -hmm. and just change your address to the university address, so that yeah. you get your voting poll here, and then you, I think, you vote in the nearest airport. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. that's really good. Also okay, so we after that we started talking about. EU government and I can't really post that on YouTube. If you want me to talk about it, just comment down below and I will. <laughs> but I don't think I can. For Watch our Willow little Blend. talk. That's a weird YouTube channel. <laughs> Are you talking about where they put everything into blenders? Yeah, he puts like an iPad in a blender, it's great. How does it create? <laughs> Thick. <laughs> I'm literally forcing her to look at the camera. Well, thank you guys for joining us, our little rent. And this was really it. Like, it was just a hike and a talk. I don't know why I filmed it. And I don't know if it will do well or the audio is any good. But I'll see you guys next week. Thank you for joining us. Bye. Got the fluffy dog. <laughs> can the camera see them? Where are they? Behind you. Oh my god, they can see one of them. <laughs> oh my god. Fluffy dogs! Oh my god. Can we get them? <laughs> oh my god, they're coming in the trees. Oh my god. Oh, Lord, he's coming. Can we see if he's coming? Can we have the dog, please? <laughs> but there's a dog so. in the background. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> so many dogs. We had puppy love on camera now. That is the best thing that ever happened today. <laughs>